Thanks for joining us here on SEO Today. We are privileged to actually have one of my friends and longtime SEO, uh, Rob Bertoff. And, and uh, I don't even know if I even check with you. It, it, Bertoff, is, is, is that how we pronounce it? Anyways, fine with me. <laughs> Rob and I met uh, a couple years back on this uh, social media app called Clubhouse. And, um, you know, we both kind of could tell right away that each other knew this subject like relatively well. And we were stoked about that and ended up literally just sharing our knowledge. And, and we, we coalesced and, and, and just honestly, I think we, we, we clicked in, in how we were trying to help everybody. And, and I love this guy to death. He, he, he has one of the most comprehensive SEO guides I have ever seen in my life. So stay tuned, you guys. Uh, so listen up. Uh, you'll get to find out where that is and, and check it out. But without further ado, I'm going to shut up here. I'm going to let Rob say hello. Hey, Brandon, thanks so much for uh, inviting me on. This is a uh, real honor. I am, um, like I say, like you just said, um, we met in Clubhouse and man, you have a lot to, uh, you have a lot to offer. That's why I was uh, happy we connected up. <laughs> well, you're too kind. I, I, I thought that of you. So frankly, uh, um, you know, uh, I was so lucky to, to spend all that time with you and, and some of the other people that we were fortunate to, to spend some time with in, in different kind of channels and stuff. But today we're going to talk about SEO. And, and, and I have, in my opinion, a new way of actually uh, sharing this information. And so what we're going to do, and Rob knows this, and I'm going to try to make sure all future guests know this, but we're going to start off with a lightning round. Because if you're listening to this podcast or you're watching us on YouTube, I'm thinking that you're probably wanting to know how to SEO or these tactics, right? So we're going to just dive right in and, and give Rob a chance to give us some of his best secrets. And, you know, th th these are secrets he actually charges people for, right? So, so you know, all of you out there <laughs> realize this is valuable stuff. Um, and we're not going to take it all because obviously Rob's got to save some of that for, for future, uh, you know, uh, opportunities and, and, and projects. But, but he's going to, he, we're lucky that he's going to be sharing some things. So we're going to dive right into it. Is that, is that okay, Rob? Let's do it. Lightning round. Let's do it. All right, awesome, the lightning round. All right, so let's start off with the first thing that I think most people are curious about. So what are the three most important factors that Google or top search engines are, are, you know, are basically rating websites and apps? Sure, so I mean, this is a good question and, and definitely one that's uh, sometimes hard to pin down. Um, I think when we look at um, the way that SEO has started off, it was essentially you know, content, the site, per, you know, the, the site itself, and then, you know, are you have, do you have backlinks? Do you have, do you have authority essentially coming to it? But today it's interesting. If you were asking me that question, you're a Fortune 500 company, or you asked me that question and you're a, a, a startup, it's very different, right? I, I do think so, right? So um, I would say the most three important things are gonna be um, just understanding one, how you uh, how you place in the, in the market, right? Because ultimately we have to remember that you're, you're competing against other websites uh, in, 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 in many instances, you're not really competing against yourself. So uh, I would say understanding your market, understanding how you are positioning your market, and then doing the analysis to figure out, well, what do I need? Um, and if you're, if you're in a market, you're trying to, and you've identified that your competitors, you know, um, are doing really well because they have the best answers to the questions, then think about how can I make a better answer? Or if you're in a space where, man, it's just, it's empty, but you've got competitors with, um, you know, really good backlink profiles, then focus there, you know? So I would just say, um, figure out who you're competing against and, uh, and then compete, um, you know, head to head and then try and go one above them with that. Awesome. So kind of leveraging like the competitors out there, analyzing mm -hmm. the landscape and, and, and basically finding those kind of levers within that landscape. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. And, and if, of course, if you're, if you're a brand new website, then it would be um, really understand, you know, what you're trying, what questions you're trying to answer, right? First off, figure out what product you're solving, uh, you're, you're selling. So, you know, what, what's your, uh, what's your offering, then figure out how can you build authority around that offering. So if your answer, if your product or, or service, if your offering is the answer, what's the questions people are asking and make really good content that answers those questions. So that would be two. And then the third piece would be go out and start socializing it and building relationships and, and, uh, you know, getting your site yourself in, um, in directories and in, and in forums and in links, I mean, in, in blogs, I should say, and in, uh, you know, just even social media, just, just get the word out everywhere you can. And, uh, the snowball will start to happen for you. 
awesome, awesome, great answer, great answer. So that that that, that starts it off. Uh, we're on fire. So this is this is good to hear. Um, let's let's jump into a couple others uh, or a few more at least. Uh, um, so let, let you know now we know what the factors are, right? And, and uh, so we kind of understand what Google's judging you on. Well, let me ask you, what are some tactics or maybe some of your favorite tactics that you've actually used to maybe fulfill some of those things? Sure. So for me, um, I look at SEO as holistic. So making sure that I have like a really uh, a nicely laid out uh, content strategy. So for me, I always um, I start, I kind of take a piece of paper and I draw, you know, a little line on it. If I'm doing, you know, just literally, it's just sometimes it's as simple as this to get it going. And I just start writing down what are my brand names? You know, like what's my navigational queries? Like what if somebody is going to be, you know, typing this in and they're only looking for me, that's where I start. And I really try to make sure that I understand what my, my branded queries are going to be, what, what's, um, what I can trademark. I get that into my about page, into my home page. Then I start focusing on what do I offer? Like that's why I exist online. So what is it that I offer? And I focus those pages on uh, landing page style. So my transactional pages or my second type of content, my transactional, uh, these are going to be just really focused on, um, you know, how can I uh, make the best sales pitch for this? And so here I'm focused on, you know, benefits as much as features, right? Really focus on the benefits. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really worried about the SEO value of that page as much as I'm worried about the conversion value of that page. Once I kind of have that foundation of my transactional queries, then I'll go and I'll start creating my informational queries. And that's my kind of my third ring out. And so kind of just can keep going out. So my informational is, again, what's the questions people are asking that my product is the answer? And that's my SEO pages. I'm gonna make these, you know, uh, mostly guides for the most part. And so I'm gonna make a guide on how to buy a widget A, whatever it is, right? And, and you know, I would really do the keyword research to figure out what are the questions people are asking. Um, and I would form that in a way that's really logical in a way, again, it, it, it should not, it should still read in a way that I'm drawn through it. And so um, not having big text content, you know, blocks, you know, really putting in some images, some bullet points, uh, you know, varying the, the media type as much as possible, where it feels like I'm on a journey and I'm learning. And it just really feels like, okay, wow, I'm now confident in buying this product because I feel like I know everything there is to know about buying this product. And so that's why having good calls to action in those informational pages that drive me to the offering pages. Um, and then once I've really kind of built out where I think I've, I don't know, I think I've answered every question there is to answer kind mm -hmm. of in the informational space, that's when I move into the relational topics. And this is kind of where I put my quote unquote blog posts, right? Mm -hmm. And my blog posts are going to be, um, you know, things that are more, um, uh, I guess, you know, things are more kind of like subjective and 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 you know now we're talking about the variants i'm talking about the flavors right i'm talking about um relationship type stuff and and um i may actually be working on uh, building relationships with other vendors and seeing how we can do kind of co-op products uh, co-op uh, blog posts um and anything that is uh, not evergreen content i'll put in that fourth quadrant um so that's kind of how i would start a project um you know in terms of um you know maybe that was one. So then the second piece is once I have the content there, um, man, it's about building relationships, right? So the way I would start that is I'd go through and I'd start by just kind of doing the stuff that I'd look at my competitors, right? I'd figure out what their backlink profiles look like. And I just one-to-one -one match that. So I would just make sure that I can get the same backlinks they've got, right? And now um, that I, and in the meantime, I'm kind of building relationships. And now I'm looking at what are the backlinks that I can get that nobody else has. And so it's like nullify your competitors, right? Get the same backlinks they've got as much as possible. And then step above your competitors um, by leveraging real relationships, right? And, you know, doing a podcast like this, you know, hey, man, could you link back to me? Whatever it is, right? These are some certain things, right? You, you just figure out how you can leverage relationships in order to get those key backlinks. Um, thinking about specifically, in, in that in that first phase, I'm just looking for just general, like, I don't care. I'm just looking for domain authority, right? And then the second phase, I'm looking for topical authority. So I think that's would be it. one content, two backlinks, if I had to do two tactics. Okay. And then what about technical or maybe U UX uh, kind of? Well, absolutely. Kinda... Well, if I'm only limited to two, I'd start there. Um, okay, but if you're going to give me more tactics, then absolutely. <laughs> it's the entire, it's the entire experience. Um, right. And, and, and just real quick, uh, in terms of on-page SEO, like for example, when we talk about content, well, what are some of those things on the page that maybe people should actually pay attention to? 
Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, now this is an interesting one because you you can kind of test a little bit both ways. Right. You know, at first, I'm, so my thing is, I like to do it by the book. So I still use my you know, one H1, a few H2s. I still do it by the book. Make sure you got your alt text on your images. Make sure that you're kind of grouping things. If it can be put into an ordered list, put an ordered list, right? Use as much uh, JSON or as much structured data as you can to really uh, let Google know what the thing is. But we also see how, you know, if you just have, um, you know, font size 48, Google's <laughs> kind of being like, I think that's an H1, right? So it's it's interesting how Google's trying to fill in the gaps, but I just figure like, why not just do everything by the book and, uh, you know, overkill a little bit, but uh, I've been successful at that, so. Got it, got it, got it. Um, you know, uh, real quickly, um, I, I, just a quick anecdote, uh, I studied or analyzed rather, um, Amazon's title, they, they, they had switched mm. that in June of 2021, I think it was. And um, I started to analyze the buckets of keywords that basically are, are omitted now. And sure. I, I found that it potentially could have impacted them by $15 million a month. And, wow. and um, you know, obviously it, it's not a complete study. It's not scientific per mm -hmm. se, but that one one element right that we know about and we you know so you're right some of the we call old school maybe but but it's just like basic standard yeah. stuff right and it's, it's interesting so that my tactic i just told you is from ground up right but yeah. um i've stepped into um so i stepped into um leadership role uh, seo leadership role at a fortune 100 company and the mm -hmm. first thing i did they were massive and the first thing i did was they're like okay what are we excited you know we, wanna, we have all these backlink deals I'm like who cares I was like, I don't care about backlinks, right? Like, because they had enough. I think they had a, I don't know, a domain 80 something. I don't know. It was like, it doesn't matter anymore, right? I just said, let's go talk. Let's go make, let's go take the um, the webmasters to lunch, right? That's all it was. Like, let's go talk to the technical team because mm -hmm. they were split. They had their IT team versus, and the SEO team. I said, let's mm -hmm. just go make a relationship with the, with the SEO team, uh, the IT team, because let's go take them to lunch. Let's go build a relationship there. Because mm -hmm. at that point, it had nothing to do with backlinks. Mm -hmm. Right. It had nothing at that point. It had nothing to do even with content. They've already done it at that point. It really was just there was so many technical errors to their platform and mm -hmm. it was so badly indexed. Uh, there was you know millions of pages and, and, and hundreds of thousands were not indexed at mm -hmm. that point. I didn't care about anything other than technical. So I think it's interesting when you're talking about the higher level. It's like you start moving into this kind of narrower pieces where you do one thing like you mentioned the title tag. Yeah do one thing. And I think what we impacted, I think it was, it wasn't okay. So it was like 25 million uh, that year, but I mean, nothing like, you know, your numbers, but I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, but you know, the, the idea is simply, um, it always depends on where you're going in and, and enterprise SEO is not the same as what I just said, which is like kind of your startup SEO. Exactly. There are different worlds. And um, so I guess understanding, um, you know, who the audience is obviously is, uh, is key to, uh, to, to all this. Yeah, no, and I love that you started off that way because that was something I was going to basically have the audience learn, you know, from us kind of breaking it down. Um, sure. Because, you know, the, the fact that when you answer the question, if, and, you know, we did this a lot on Clubhouse. I don't know if you remember, yeah. but it's like when they ask these questions, it's like, it depends, you know. And, 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 you <laughs> that know, was the uh, that was the line, always. Right? Always and, line. and, you know, and then people are always like, gosh, you know. Um, but it does depend. You have to actually yep. check out the landscape. You have to understand, yep. is it small? Is it big? You know, uh, yep. all these other things. So it, it, it's something that, you know, when you started off, I was like, yes. And, and, and that's the thing, you know, then there's always the question like, who do you hire? Who's a, a legitimate SEO? And, and the way they answer questions, just like you did, shows your veteran slash experience in, in the field. And you, you briefly just touched on one of the companies that you had worked for that was a Fortune 1000 company. Um, you know, and then, then we're going to talk about that a little bit later, because I mean, sometimes they're, they're like, who's this Rob guy with the beard, you know, or, 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 you know, who's this Brandon guy, you know, interviewing him, you know, yeah. but, um, regardless, we'll get it. We'll get into that. So no, those are awesome answers. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about maybe where would you pick up this stuff? Was it from all these experiences that you got? I mean, or, you know, was it, were you testing all the time? How, how did you, you know, come up with these theories? Yeah. So, I mean, the way I, um, I think for me, it, it started off with, uh, I just found the best test. So the 10 second maybe, and, and, and I, I don't want to jump too far into like how I got into this, but it kind sure. of it deals with that a little bit yeah. is, um, I had a, a large, a large, uh, web design company and 
So we had, I think, 700 clients. And what I realized was we need to get those clients better visibility. We need to move into marketing, not just content management and things like this. And so I just, at the time, you know, this is 2006, I guess it was, all the SEO was in India. Like that's where the, that's where SEO was uh, mm -hmm. for the most part. So um, I just started looking for who's the, the greatest rock star there. Uh, I hired him and then had him say, hey, I'm gonna hire you, but I want, I want full, you know, open kimono, so to speak. I want to see everything. I want to know what's going on. I want to see, you know, in the back office. And, and I started learning from him. So that allowed me to like go light years uh, super quickly because I'm literally watching their processes. I said, I don't want to see uh, results at the end of the day. Like I, I want to see results in the day, but I don't want to just see the, the reports that tell me right. ranking. Right. I want to see all the operational reports. I'm going to see what you're doing. I'm going to see how the time is spent. And I want to understand the strategy. And that's kind of what got me into it. Then from there, it was like, okay, now I have my foundation and now it's, you got to test for yourself. So I think like starting off at first, it would be find a great mentor. Like, like I know you've got a bunch of mentees. That's the <laughs> smartest way for someone to learn SEO is to go see if Brandon will take on another mentee. Uh, that's the way to start. Then it's about testing. And I think from that is having a number of different websites, being really controlled in um, annotations, like Hey, okay, so I'm about to do this. I'm about to do this radical change to titles, whatever it is. Let me just kind of take some snapshots of where I'm at and you know annotate that. Now let's just see what changes um, as we move forward. So I would say that's kind of the the best way there. Um, obviously, you know, Google Webmasters gives you a lot of what they're kind of doing. We have this kind of you know this symbiotic relationship to a large degree with them. So I think you can find you can keep that that training alive or keep kind of learning from even just directly from 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 Google uh, Webmaster. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of great SEO you know channels and things like this. So I would say one is find a mentor. Two is um, you know maybe read everything there you know you, you've got in terms of uh, you know watch some videos. Um, read everything you've got in Google Webmaster Forum, and then the, the next piece would be a speed te start testing for yourself and and seeing, because what's interesting is it, is once it becomes a tactic that everybody knows about, it's kind of almost too late, right? So if you're not <laughs> finding those little things yourself, you know, I mean, we we were doing some testing. I know back way back in the day on like emojis. And we're surprised to see that our click-through rate went up with emojis, and all of a sudden it disappeared again. By the time we could tell people, put emojis in your title, they removed emojis, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Funny, funny. No, I agree. Uh, I, I don't know if I could share it here today because we're we're, we're actually attacking a certain vertical um, with yeah. the agency, and um, it has really unique variables. And mm -hmm. as a result, their pages are actually different because they have this certain thing that they have to do for each of the types of websites that they basically have and i think i discovered something that maybe no one has discovered and as a result and i have no idea so anyway yeah. no i hear yeah. you i hear yeah. you that's that that's good stuff and you're right a lot a lot of the top seos usually have to do stuff like that well um kind of related to that i would say is uh uh you know um you obviously figured it out by watching the process is learning and you know uh, really honing in on that but let's say we rewind let's rewind a little yeah. bit and, and and go back to 2006 anything you'd do different like you know well i mean honestly it's, it's hard that's a, i don't know i really should have to think of that question first right <laughs> um, i usually just say no regrets move forward i learned you know um i i definitely think that um i could have with what i understood i never really left like okay so like I never really got in the circuit at all. Like I was just the guy that nobody knew about that was just pumping out money doing, you know, I was just there making money for, for clients and for myself, but I never like bothered like going and, and, and networking with other SEOs so much. Um, I would think I would do that differently. Um, you know, we would have met earlier then. Right. You know, and, right. and I think, right. I think my first MozCon was not till like, I don't know, 2014 or something ridiculous, you know? Um, and I've always just been kind of, you know, grinding out stuff, you know, under the radar. Um, but uh, I think that I would probably be, I probably would have networked more, I think, with the community, because it would have been one less lessons that I'd have to learn on my own. And two, because by the way, those are the tactics that, you know, we've shared public, uh, privately hanging out, you know, like hanging out, I'll tell you, and you'll tell me the stuff that I'm working on that I can't really talk about yet. Yeah. That's the best way to learn those things, right? Yeah. Is having that kind of, uh, that peer mentorship. Um, and so, I think that's something that I that I 
uh, I didn't contribute to others on, and I also didn't uh, uh, benefit from others on. So I definitely, I would rewind that. Um, and the other piece would be, um, I don't know, I think I would have played the game a little bit more because I knew, <laughs> I knew what would move the needle. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to get, you know, in that dark gray black zone, you know what I'm saying? That right. dark gray zone. Right. But uh, looking back, I'm like, okay, I probably could have actually leveraged some of these tactics, um, you know, seeing, you know, in the sense, I was, I was, I think I was, I was a little bit too, a little bit too white uh, for what I knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Um, one, one other question. I mean, gosh, we could, we could talk about this forever. I mean, sure. a lot of different aspects uh, of SEO, but um, ironically, I'm going to ask you a question that is basically like a starting point. So what is SEO to you? Like what, what you know, because I think, you know, uh, like the other day, uh, the agency uh, uh, head told, said, you know, SEO this, or he said, give me an SEO audit. And I was uh -huh. kind of like, what do you mean by SEO audit? So what, what is SEO to you? I love this question because the answer will change based on who you ask it to. <clears throat> and this is how you know if someone's a full stack SEO or kind of a newbie, right? <laughs> and so, and I don't say that in newbie in a, in a negative way, but um, it's like this. If I ask somebody from, um, who's a, a, a copywriter, right? They're going to tell me, it's, you know, content is king, right? And if I ask somebody who is a, a webmaster, they're going to say, it's all about page speed, right? If I ask somebody who is a UX UI designer, they're going to say, it's all about the experience, you know? And so it's just interesting. Um, a PR person, it's all about the links. It's just like, it's like anybody you ask, you know, they always tell you um, something from their lens. And so for me, I believe that, you know, SEO is holistic and SEO is, essentially about results. It's about how do I, you know, proliferate myself through the search engines in every different, um, being able to integrate with every different, um, um, you know, uh, snippet type, you know, a wide vast, you know, range of, of, of queries. How can I essentially be the thing that shows up, you know, be, be visible, right? And to be visible, you need a bunch of different tactics. And so for an SEO, for me, um, well, SEO as, 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 a, as a whole is simply just getting visibility, um, I believe. SEO, and in terms of practitioner-wise, is knowing what tool to pull out at what time. Because I've seen people who are kind of one-trick pony SEOs, mm -hmm. and you know, you'll tell that, you know, they'll have, they'll have almost like, you know, no domain authority, but they've got, you know, a thousand pages of content, you know, and you're like, um, yeah, so the strategy here is just churn out content every month. Yeah, that's that's SEO to you, you know. It, and 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 I, and I make this joke. It's like going to a gym, right? Where it's like, you know, if you've seen the guy with like the chicken legs or something at the gym, you, all he's doing is working out his chest. You're like, okay, right. well, clearly, you know, all he does is just bench press. You know, whatever it is. And it's like, no, you an SEO needs to be a full body workout. And um, so, um, I don't know. So so what is SEO? There's different pers perspectives, even with that, with the definition. One, I think, is aligning yourself with the, um, with the, aligning yourself really with Google and their best interest and aligning your best interest with Google, right? And figuring out they want to serve up good content. You want to get your content served. Um, but if you're being really honest, SEO is kind of just manipulating Google. If, if you're going to get down to the core of it, but you know, let's, let's stick with uh, it's uh, aligning your interests with Google. I'll, that's my final answer. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. 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 Um, well, uh, so we've given the, the, the listeners or, or viewers at least what they want. Uh, I think we're going to get into some really great stories. So I, I wouldn't go anywhere if I were a listener right now, but, uh, uh, but regardless, we gave them some good stuff that, that, that they can take away now. Um, now let's rewind. You, you actually put your hand up a little bit, so the the, the YouTube, you know, uh, viewers. Oh, did I? I uh, uh, you know, no. What I want, what, what why I want to share is you're you're not in the United States right now, and unfortunately, I, I feel so bad. You know, we have you after getting hurt. Uh, uh, can you tell us what happened? I mean, and I'm sorry to to share this, but but, <laughs> but you know, uh, um, you know, it tells us a little bit about what's going on. Uh, so I'm in central Romania in the middle of really nowhere, um, and I'm building a school. Um, we're, I'm launching a, a leadership school here in Romania. And uh, yeah, I don't want to gross people out, but I did just like chop off two of my fingers yesterday. Um, oh. And then they sewed them back on. So yeah, I'm here. Uh, that's, <laughs> I didn't mean to show that. I was, sometimes I talk with my hands too much. But anyways, we did not have to go there. 
but that's what I'm doing out here. I'm, I was building, um, yeah, building a school. So, so just to make sure for anybody who cares, uh, the, the fingers are going to be okay. You think? Uh, I, I think so. We'll, okay, we'll good, find out. Good, good yeah. prognosis. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll have Rob back on the show and give us an update. Maybe here. Sounds in six like months. a plan. So, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, and and thank you for still being on the show today, and uh, uh, still giving the the listeners what they want. That this goes to show who Rob is uh, for anybody who, who's listening. So anyway, uh, but but you know, let's rewind even more. Um, so so how did you get into this field? You you kind of spoke a little bit about it, um, you know, and then you know, feel free to you know elaborate to even to today. I mean, obviously we only have so much time, but sure, at sure. the same time, you know, would love to hear it. Yeah, so the 32nd was, um, I'd created a, a content management system, a web OS, and um, I uh, started, you know, I couldn't sell it to, uh, directly to webmasters because they're like, well, I don't want to give up. This is like 2004. They're like, I don't want to, you know, stop you know, making edits to my website, you know, making client edits. That's how I make money. I'm like, hey, man, think about something bigger than that. Like, let's like, you know, think of all that, you know, all that you can do for the client once they're making small text changes on their own, essentially. Um, so yeah, so I grew pretty quickly with that. Um, although none of the, I had to do it directly. So I had to form a subsidiary to sell my own product because nobody would buy it. No webmasters would buy it uh, at first. They all did later. Um, so I ended up having about 700 customers and uh, I realized, you know, it, it's kind of like having a billboard in your basement, right? You know, having a website without SEO is like having a billboard in your basement. So we want that billboard on the side of the biggest highway you can have. And that's right now Google. Um, so the thought was, hey, let's uh, let's really you know invest in this. Um, and so we, uh, we 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 found the right guy. We brought him into the team. Him, he already had a team. I think he had like forty guys working for him at the time. So I brought him and his team in, internal, and uh, we just went. Uh, we started into that. Um, from there, I, I did play around with some stuff. So <clears throat> you know, I had to do some vanity. You know, there's, it's interesting how SEO. There's so much, there's so much vanity with around right, SEO right. in terms of clients. A client will say, I just want to rank for this one term. You're like, well, there's no search volume for it. They're like, I don't care. I want to rank for it. So my thing when I was playing it starting off was a search engine optimization expert, right? I just figured if I can, if I can rank for, for search engine optimization expert, like I'll show that I can do it. And I ranked number one in the world for about, I don't know, six years. And then, mm -hmm. and then number one in the United States for another, another four years after that. Mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of fun, you know, just kind of just messing with the search. engines. I, I was, uh, I think I was number six for web design. Mm. you know for, for many years so uh you know i had fun doing these kind of these you know vanity uh you know vanity terms but um really more than that was more impressive what we did for our clients and so mm. getting you know some really some some tough you know one word even really heavy queries uh that we did um in the hospitality space and the automotive space and all over but um yeah so then uh from there i ended up selling that company and then just saying hey i just want to do the marketing side of things not want to do the production side of all the websites where it's um it's so subjective uh let me just do objective stuff and i enjoy that space so i just was doing mostly it was mostly technical and and, and authority it was mostly what we we're kind of doing at the time because that's when the, the pendulum swung it's interesting in seo right it's like it starts off with 100 percent content and then with the page rank algorithm it was 100 percent backlinks like mm -hmm. in 2010 i could rank a blank website completely blank and I could rank it, right? That's the craziest overswing of a pendulum I saw was like 2009, 2010. And then it's, it kind of swings back a little bit and swings back. And now it's kind of, you know, it kind of rests a little, actually it's a little bit resting over here a little bit, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, so, so I just kind of, kind of stayed with that. I had my first agency, um, uh, my, my first SEO specific agency. Mm -hmm. um, and what I realized was, you know, it's kind of like, I wanted to like increase profits because having an agency, everyone's like, Oh, I got a, you know, I got a seven figure agency. It's like, yeah, that's not hard. It, but how much your profit margin on that seven figure agency, you know? And so, uh, so we started working on, um, you know, really focusing on uh, uh, profitability. And so we kind of really looked at how do we break SEO down into a science? Like if it's like Henry Ford, how would Henry Ford operate as a webmaster? Henry, Henry Ford operates as an SEO. And so we really started kind of working through um, like a, essentially just kind of like a pattern like a path right and so it was kind of just like looking at it almost like a an assembly line so you come in like audience right brand content design development you know community you know build or buy and then analytics and kind of with this this kind of um system we really started getting efficient with uh, generating you know with with building it out um 
But then I kind of got more you know, interested in software as a service. And so I put SEO on the back shelf and I moved into, into, into SaaS, uh, uh, SaaS development again. And, and uh, honestly, it was interesting because um, we have, uh, you know, we had kind of a smaller boutique agency where we just said like, look, let's just take like the best clients, you know, our favorite clients and keep them. And we also started moving into uh, taking on um, relationships. So rather than having just a client, we would say, let's just do partnerships. So if you're a, you know, an SEO, I mean, if you're a, 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 a client of ours um, that we want to keep, we'd say, hey, can we launch another website that's white label to us and we'll take X amount of profits from this, you know, and so that way we're able to make larger margins and it would cost less to the customer, I mean, to the to our partners. So right. it was a win. -win. Um, and then from there, honestly, like I kind of gave up SEO for a bit um, until we jumped until until Clubhouse. And I was like, oh, well, let me, yeah, let's let's talk more about SEO. So, you know, um, I've only been doing it like recently for my own stuff. You know, like I don't I haven't really been taken on, uh, you know, if uh, if a whale comes and they're like, hey, man, you know, we want to give you this in order to to come give us a month and, and get us back on track. Yeah, I'm all for it. But uh yeah, I don't. I, I mostly like you. Just have SEO mentees and just send them all my any small leads get sent to them, and mm -hmm. um, just you know just mentor them through how to how to handle agency life and and pract and, and practitioner life. So um, wow. that's kind of how we got into it. But yeah, wow, wow, wow. I, I literally, you know, I knew a good chunk of that, but I didn't know the whole story. So that was amazing to to, to hear that. To be honest, um, and I, I think the the listeners and the viewers definitely uh, appreciate that. Um, I, I actually a couple of thoughts uh, came up while while you were saying all of that um, is is one you know we've talked about this maybe in the past it's like sometimes I've been in SEO for ten years I've been in SEO for fifteen years yeah. I've been in SEO for thirty even before Google uh, uh -huh. uh, but what does that mean like and, and you yeah. you know you are at least honest enough to tell us okay well you kind of chilled with SEO for a little while right because you probably had other priorities and stuff like that um, and uh, uh, um, I mean. I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? Because I mean, I think everybody. Yeah. Says you, it's interesting. So I think it's, it's kind of like this. Would I, the question is, now this is, a, this is a hard question. Would I hire me today? Right. And the answer is, I don't know. Right. The answer is yes. Okay. If you're a startup and you need to know like how to like, yeah, I'm probably like the guy. Right. But there's probably stuff that, because I haven't been in the testing world in I don't know, six, seven years. I haven't done any tests in years, right? And the other piece is we don't have to get into it now, but but you know, AI content now, right? There are probably workflows that I have no idea about that are probably incredibly efficient. So, the, the you know that's that I'm just being honest, right? So you could say, yeah, I've been in, I've been in SEO since you know, it's 2004, since 2006, mm -hmm. I, whatever it would be, I guess. Um, but uh, like, would I hire me today? You know, and and, and Obviously, I know that I, I have a, a wide understanding of what SEO is, and um, but you know I really think that you have to have a balance between knowing the foundations and also knowing what's active today. And I'll be honest, like my knowing what's active today, um, there's probably about ten percent of the stuff that I have no idea about, right? And and most people wouldn't say that. Most people would be like, oh, I know one hundred percent of it because I am pretty well versed in SEO. But I, right. I I feel like there's always that little ten percent that I'm like, I have no idea what's happening in, you know, in uh, you know, uh, Chat GPT or, or 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 you know what's 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 where that's heading right now. Um, so, yeah, I think it's it's an interesting piece to think about. Um, what is somebody's? What's their fun, foundational knowledge? Um, how does being in and out of the game? change the the perspective of, of who they are as an seo one thing i will say is there are a lot of people who don't get business right and so if you had somebody who actually knows every little you know every feature every tactic right now in order to how to look these little hacks do they even understand profit orientation and, and this is one of the first thing i, te I teach uh, my teams or, or my, my mentees is look you can do all of this but if it's not if it doesn't result back into actual revenue for the business, profit for the business, what's the point? You know, and so um, I think, uh, you know, I would be the gray beard that you'd hire in. Right. Mm -hmm. But you still need a young buck. Right. And I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the that's the uh, the balance is uh, is and that's why it's beautiful. Why people with different diversities and different skill sets are so beautiful. Right. So, like, I'm the architect. I'm the gray beard that you bring in. that can see the business side and, and can make sure that that, you know, things get done. But. I'm probably not the guy you'd hire, you know, to figure out how to 
generate content, right? Because there's got to be better ways right now than I would have done it. So uh, anyway, I don't know. I, I guess it just a, it's just a realistic look at um, how fast things change, but also how things say the same. It's a weird, weird dichotomy with SEO. It is. It is. And, and you literally are the gray beard. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, at least right now, um, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, you know, this, I, I, that <laughs> wasn't a setup. Like the thing is, is um, when you were saying that, the thing that I was thinking about, and yes, I'm biased. I, I know you and, and I know your knowledge and things like that. And I know you as a person, um, but even just listening to you for the past, I don't know, it's been 40 minutes or so uh, since we've been talking. Um, what it showed me, or, or at least what I heard, and, and anybody who's listening to this or watching is that you know how to examine a situation, you know what levers to pull, um, you know, basically, you know how to figure out or basically problem solving, which is a lot of what SEO is. And yes, the landscape changes and different things. And, you know, you got to adjust to different verticals and, and different yeah. SERPs, or whatever, right? And so it's whether or not you have that capability, I'd argue. And even that young buck sometimes can't do that, right? Because they don't have the experience or they just don't think that way. And then ultimately, like you said, you got to return. There's an ROI factor here that's really huge for the client who's paying you, right? Yeah. And, and, and so um, I had hire you in a heartbeat. Um, the, it, it's, you know, I'm in it. I'm in the stuff today. Yeah. And, and, you know, we're talking to these companies that are, are you know, getting $100 million of financing from VCs and stuff like right. that, and they're growing like, you know, literally rocket ships. Um, but they don't know what to do next, right? Because they've yeah. got all this branded traffic or, or basically, uh, you know, they have site authority because of some other factors or whatever the case may right. be. But, right. but, but, you know, um, but one thing that's very true, which I, 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 I've been seeing, and, you know, I would say sometimes I'm even, and sorry, I shouldn't be talking this much, but regardless, no, no, man. Yeah. But, but, you know, it's like, you know, we, we can't know everything, but you can find a person who goes and figures out everything, um, and attaches those business elements that you're talking about, which, which gives the ROI, um, because you're right, there's a lot of things in SEO that stay the same, right? And so, no. I almost want to go back when you ask, what is SEO? I want to go back and change my answer. It's problem solving. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is. You nailed it, Brandon. You nailed it. It's problem solving. That's what SEO is. SEO is problem solving. I like that, man. Well, honestly, uh, it's also synergies too, right? So, <laughs> and, and having great people, um, you know, think differently but similarly and, and work together to, to 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 do quote unquote the problem solving which 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 right. you know um you said so that's awesome um man there's so many questions i want to ask you even though i know you so well but but you did touch on something uh, uh you know like recently is is ai and chat gpt and you know people are talking about like nonstop so much that i want to slap some people you know yeah. um I, I personally, I, I just, I don't get into it, but then I go and, you know, do the queries and, you know, right. and then, you know, I go and make right. sure that I'm at least somewhat familiar, but what do you think? Like, I, I mean, I think, you know, when we look at chat GPT or when we look at any of these other things, it's almost like how much of this is novelty and how much of this is, you know, going to stick around. Right. And, and again, not in the SEO space, but we've heard all this, like we've heard, you know, <clears throat> NFTs, like I'll tell you, sick of it, you know, metaverse, right. sick, sick right. of it. Like, it's some of the stuff you just, I don't want to chase these terms, right? And so um, now that said, ChatGPT is, um, I think, fundamentally going to change the way uh, a lot of things operate, right? From some software development all the way to, to content creation. We, we see so many different uh, AI content tools. Um, you know, there's a, there's a range of AI content tools right now that, um, you know, we could look to. Um, I think that's more on the execution, right? Ultimately, we still need the strategy. And those tools, I don't know that an AI tool will ever, well, I don't know, AI is moving fast, but let's just say it, you know, in the, in, in the recent, in the near future, AI is not gonna be able to give you anything near the strategy side. And so, you know, if you were trying to figure out like, you know, um, you know is this something that you can bring in? Um, yeah, but, but here's the other part of that though, is, is how readable is that content? Mm -hmm. Right. And so if we're going to think through, I want to create a, a transactional page, there's no way I would use any sort of AI bot to write a transactional page. Now, would I use it maybe for an informational page? I don't know, maybe. Right. I haven't, I haven't honestly, I haven't played around with it so much because um, I don't know, I, I guess one piece of me, it comes down to your, what your content strategy is. So one piece of me says, 
every piece of content should count. And that's what I believe. And if you have a piece of content in the page, it should be you know, artisanal. It should be hand worked and it should really speak, you know, but, you know, maybe you're using a, a, a tactic where you're just trying to like generate a bunch of, you know, landing pages. And you can't write the same thing over and over for every landing page, you know, where you're just changing, like whether it's a locational landing page or whether it's a, a taxonomical landing page, like that would be something that would be really helpful because otherwise my mind is going to go numb saying the same thing over and over 800 times but trying to say it differently but i can't say it differently twice so um you know i, I think i think it has a pl its place right now but like anything it's not the the magic wand because there are no magic wands in seo agreed agreed um yeah, if there was, uh, yeah, there'd be a lot more people in the space <laughs> or, or, you know, anyway, we, we go into that. Um, awesome. Uh, um, yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree on so many levels with, with what, what you just said in terms of, uh, basically, uh, and, and I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see what happens here in, in the next few years. Um, now you and I, we can talk probably for hours. Um, so, but in order to get you back, uh, uh to, Hopefully not doing anything to your other hand. <laughs> um, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna close with a few uh, uh, questions that I, I like to ask all my guests. Um, I actually do another podcast uh, focusing on education, and this uh, uh, set of questions usually helps us get to know you more as a person. And, and, and you know, we've gotten to know at least your SEO background, and and you know, obviously a little bit of your personal. But uh, uh, I think this, these are. Uh, I don't know. They just kind of give a little extra flavor to who you are. So hopefully these aren't too much of a surprise, but, uh, you know, obviously take your time in answering them. Uh, but I call them the five Q's, you know, so, okay. um, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, they're basically questions, obviously, but, uh, uh yeah, let's start off with the first one. Um, and it's kind of like a lightning round, but, you know, feel free to elaborate as much as you want. Um, first is who's your hero. Well, for me, I mean, I guess it's what's the context, right? Jesus Christ is my hero. Um, mm -hmm. But for, um, I would say for SEO, I mean, my, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd, it's it's hard to say. There's there's a lot of uh, really amazing heroes in SEO. Um, I don't know. The, the guy that comes to mind is Bill Slosky because he really taught me a lot about, um, you know, uh, structured data. And uh, that's something that that I couldn't get my mind around until you know we would have these you know sessions that there in, in Southern California together and and then I really kind of like it clicked. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, hero wise, I don't know, man. You're 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 right there on the top of the list at this point. Oh buddy. my God, you're too you you're too you way too nice. Yeah, the stuff, uh, the, stuff we, this, the conversations we had in Clubhouse were awesome, man. I I really enjoyed the advice that that I learned from you. So I'd have to put you right there too. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we do have to say. Uh, um, uh, condolences for for Bill. Yep. Unfortunately, he, he did yep. pass uh, this past year. I think it was, and uh, yep. uh, um, yeah, um, he's such a great guy in in so many ways. But uh, thank you for for actually highlighting that because yeah, he, he contributed significant amounts to uh, basically the industry. Um, next question is, uh, who's a great role model for society? Well, you're going to go back to Jesus Christ again, but uh, <laughs> sometimes this, this answer is the same, by the way, for some of yes. my past guests. Yeah, um, I think a role model be um, in an SEO context. Um, I think somebody that's just that just always always learning, right? Somebody who understands that, um, you know, the importance of the fundamentals, but also the importance of always learning. Um, yeah, you know, and this goes back to the early answer I have. I don't know a lot of people in the SEO space. And that's mm -hmm. the weirdest thing is like, I've been kind of under a rock just doing my thing. And, and, you know, so it's like, I'm not like networked. I mean, I, you know, the, the people in, in, in clubhouse are really like, you know, for the, for the most part, the people that I, that I really, you know, uh, bonded with, um, right. <clears throat> you know, outside of that, you have, you know, a few names that kind of, that kind of pop up, but I mean, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't give you a, an answer that, of like, you know, um, other than an answer I've already given. So. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. And and by the way, you don't have to answer uh, because I know that, you know, th this is a show or this is a, a definitely a, a podcast uh, based on SEO. But 
Um, this is more to get to know you. So, you know, feel free yeah. to, uh, you know, answer maybe the last couple um, or, or so questions. And it's funny because I, you know, I put four questions down in my notes when I usually have five. But anyway, uh, um, the third question, um, and this is kind of a serious subject uh, yeah. and one that I, I like to ask because, um, especially for that education podcast, um, mainly because uh, I think most people deal with it. And a lot of people don't have great advice, um, but since you and I are maybe on a little bit at the other end of, you know, age, I guess, if you want to call it that, but uh, um, um, how do you deal with those tough times? You know, well, we, we, we all probably have some difficulty along the way. And uh, during that time, um, I mean, I can go into detail about mine, but and I've done it enough. I want to ask you, so I'm curious, how, what, what did you do? Any advice for all those people out there? Well, I think when we're kind of looking at um, understanding maybe the greater context of just what we're doing here, right? And again, I don't want to, it's, 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 the, it's the first answer I gave to the last two questions to be super <laughs> candid. Okay? Uh, but um, I think just understand the context. Like, I know a lot of times we, we take our job too seriously. And we think that, you know, what other people's impressions of us matter maybe way too much. And just kind of understand, like, what are we doing this for? Like, why are we an SEO, right? Our, ultimately, we're an SEO because we, we you know, either are trying to, uh, you know, peace of mind and peace of the market, right? That's kind of the, the two pieces why we're an SEO. And uh, so we want that, you know, we want to have, um, you know, revenue to come in in order to, you know, allow us to achieve what brings us I guess uh, what we're passionate about in life and we want to have, you know, that security that, you know, um, <clears throat> and also the other piece of that is going to be, you know, it, some people are really passionate. I like problem solving. So I enjoyed SEO because it's, a, it's something you can really problem solve around. Um, I think the big piece though, is just to recognize there's something so much greater than messing with an algorithm and embrace the people that were around, right? Embrace the fact that, Hey, you're part of a team and, Sometimes we, as SEOs, um, maybe don't want to give, you know, that little, that little bit, you know, but why not, man? You know, like the more you give, the more is going to be given to you. And I'm not talking about stuff that you're still trying to figure out if it's, I'm not, you know, I'm still testing it. No, I'm talking about like, um, it's why I put like my guide out there. That's like, here's everything that I know. Um, I think we need to be just radically generous and understand that like, you know, everybody around us is just, we're all, the, we're all just trying to figure out what we're doing in this spinning rock and trying to figure out, you know, where things are going. And, and I think a lot of times we get maybe too caught up um, in the process and we don't and it will like look above the clouds. I'm using a lot of different metaphors now, but you know, this, this idea of just kind of like looking above the clouds and realizing, wow, you know what, like if my rankings are down this month, like it's actually not a big deal. Like, you know, I'm going to, <laughs> you know, it's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to make some relationships. It's an opportunity to kind of do some reflection. Like, was I actually, um, you know, how diligent was I last month? Because I know I'll be, be, be super candid. Like we've had times and even in our agency where it just felt like everything was going so great that we kind of just let off the gas a little bit. Right. I'm just being super candid um, because it's like, oh man, the rankings are great. Let's focus on another aspect. Let's focus on more clients, whatever it is. And then you get to that point where you're like, Oh, the rankings are down and the world's crashing. And, and then you're thinking like, well, I guess maybe the last three months I could have used the time better, you know? And so I think, you know, being honest, being you know faithful in small things, being diligent at all times, even when the rankings are up, being diligent, um, I think would be there. Um, you know, it's uh, the tough times in life, just understanding the, the, the context around us. And again, final answer is uh for me is is knowing my creator and knowing how to serve others by you know serving my creator awesome um i did remember the the two other questions so apologies uh so there yeah. are just five um so one is actually pretty easy what's your favorite dish what do you like to eat oh man that's actually hard because i love to cook <laughs> um so i mean <laughs> top of the list probably like what i cook the most because my wife always asks me to is is uh is, is thai food she loves my thai dishes um, outside of that, I mean, I love pasta. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd say I love food, anything, anything that has life, anything green, right. Uh, is also, I mean, anything from the garden, like that's the way I moved out here in the middle of nowhere is mm -hmm. where, you know, I love eating something direct from the garden. So, yeah, I've seen some of those pictures. Those are awesome. Those are, yeah. those are great to see. Um, 
Um, and then last one, um, what makes you unique? Any, any, any secrets to, you know, that you haven't shared before that, you know, hmm. Uh, um, you know, that, that perhaps other people don't know. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll remember forever. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think we're all unique based on just the trajectory we've had in life. So the older we are, the more unique we are, I think. In, in <laughs> sure, um, sure. You know, I would say that the key takeaways that would make sense to pass to somebody else is going to be attention to detail, right? Um, faithful and small things. It's going to be pattern matching. If there's one thing that I teach my mentees and I just beat it into them, it's spot patterns. Just analyze everything and start seeing similarities and differences and, and start seeing like, okay, there's, you know, how is this, why is this, you know, it, there is a trend. Right, now, right, that's right, when you get into right. problem solving, the third yeah. piece we problem solving, right? Yeah. Um, I think uh, profit orientation is so incredible. That's another big piece that we do first week. You know, any new team I come in to, to run first week is profit orientation, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care about all the fun tactics we're doing. Let's let's see what's actually impacting the bottom line and let's work backwards from that. Um, I think, um, let's see, there's a lot of, I'm just gonna find, I can dig one more out of the, out of the, uh, out of the bag here. Um, but, but how about you, Rob? Me? Rob? Yeah, well, what, what makes you unique? Like what, 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 what is the thing that you would say, um, yeah, because I mean, all of us are trying to do all the stuff that you just talked about, right? Okay. But, but some of us have figured it out a little bit, or maybe we just kind of got lucky with something. I don't know. But, sure. you know, we, we, can, can you think of anything that, that might, might, you know, stand out or, or might be a little bit different? I mean, I've, I'm all in for preparing for the return of my savior. That mm -hmm. makes me a little bit different, I think. I mean, like, that's why I'm not chasing business. It's why I'm not, uh, you know, trying to, you know, trying to make millions again. Like I'm, you know, I'm just like, um, I'm building a leadership school. I'm excited to get people to understand that, um, you know, it's the whole matrix thing, right? Like people mm -hmm. don't recognize that mm -hmm. this is not, this isn't forever, you know? And, and um, for me personally, I'm just, I guess I just feel the love that God has given me and I just want to pass that to others. Again, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to make this heavy on that piece. You asked me the question. So no, no, I mean, no, it's, no. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to push this in any means, but that's that's what maybe makes me different. Is I'm just I'm just all in for God, and and it changed my perspective. It becomes I become fully other centered instead of just focusing on self. Um, and I think that's maybe different than we see, I guess, elsewhere. Maybe to a to a small degree. Not not that people are not other centered, but like the reason that that they're that they're all in. Um, I guess that's kind of changes it. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I've got a lot of experience from, from military to teaching to, you know, corporate to inventions to software development to, you know, I, I've been around the block, so that makes me unique as well. But um, I think for me, sometimes it's not about the, um, the skill sets that make you unique. It's about the, the why, the motivation that can really set you apart. Yeah, Rob is one of the most generous people I've ever met in this industry, if not life. So, um, no, I... I, I yeah, no, it's, it's, it's great to, to be reminded. So uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, all right. Well, you know, we, we, we've spent a lot of time. We're, we're maybe going to have to do this uh, like a part two at some point, because I think, again, we could probably talk about some of these subjects, but, but for anybody who might want to interview you or so if anybody wants that big, awesome SEO guide, um, how, how do people reach out to you? Yeah. So um, my email is Rob at my last name, B E R T H O L F dot com um or um i think i'm on instagram berthalf um um yeah i've, I've got rob.berthalf.com i used to rank number one i don't think i'm anywhere near i've i've, le I've left furniture <laughs> abandoned, abandoned the website a few years ago but uh yeah i mean it, anyway if you want to reach out um uh look forward to i'm happy to share anything and um uh you know i'm happy also if you want to put the the link to the guide on your website anything like yeah. that be, be honored for that Awesome. Awesome. And, uh, um, you know, you want to tell anybody about this leadership Academy? I mean, is, is, is that the, the mentees sure. for, for, um, SEO? Is it for just in general? Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, for me, when I look at kind of like where the world is going and, and what traits we need, we need practical, logical, and I believe spiritual leaders. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to build. And so we open up March 1st and it's going to be a small group and I'm just going to teach mindset it's really what I'm doing. And so it's just literally this idea of like true education, teaching mindset in a garden setting. We're then going to build some houses. Hopefully I don't lose any more digits. And uh, we're going <laughs> to, and we're going to also learn about uh, then launching a business. So it's a nine week, uh, sorry, nine month 
uh, three, 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 um, three months um, in uh, just mindset and being in the garden, three months in, in character development um, and confidence building and being um, in homemaking, and then three months with um, uh, profit orientation and, and just how to um, you know, put together business plans and, and, and go forth and, and, and create something big. So that's what we're up to. Amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Rob, for sharing everything that you have. It's honestly, um, it's always great to talk to you. So um, appreciate your time today. Absolutely. I wish I had a podcast so I could interview you. Bring me back sometime and let me interview you on your podcast. Because I tell you what, if you if no one's heard Brandon speak before, he is a wealth of knowledge. And I always feel like you have to be holding back because your answers are going to be better than my answers in most of these questions. <laughs> and yeah, you're just kind of like so patient and just like, okay, I'll let him answer. But uh, at some point, let me, uh, let me interview you, man. Sure. No, no, I'd be honored. I'd be honored. Um, yeah, maybe at some point we'll do that. But uh, uh, I wanted people to at least hear from you. Uh, so I, I really do appreciate your time today. I mean, everybody who gets to listen or watch, um, you know, when you reach out to podcasts, yes, sometimes there's reservations, there's questions to the podcast. Rob had no questions to me. He's just like, yeah, whenever, you know, name the time. And, and, and that's the type of person Rob is. And uh, uh you know, his leadership academy and all the things that he does. Um, he's always been that way. So, so again, sincere thanks for joining us here today. I feel the same way about you, Brandon. Thank you, man.